Hey guys, I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use hair grease on my cane rows. So I will be using this black castor oil jehation spray just to get my ends going, to get rid of any itchy scalp that I have going on and just to generally give my hair good health overall. And as you can see guys, I'm spraying on my ends because it's so important as we all know those are the oldest parts of your hair. I'm just sectioning my hair because it helps to work in smaller sections. Now I'm going to take my leave-in conditioner from Not Your Mother's just for added moisture. And again I'm just going to spritz that throughout my hair starting with my ends working my way up to the roots because I want as much moisture in my hair as possible before I apply my hair grease. Okay guys so this is my favourite bit if you know me you know I love my Dax and this is my Dax application so I'm going to seal all that moisture in with my Dax yes my hair grease so as you can see not only am I applying it to my strands but I'm also applying it to my scalp I know it's a big no-no for some but as controversial as hair grease is my hair just loves this stuff I'm just stretching out my hair I've got it on a very cool heat at a high speed because I don't want to put any added heat on my hair more than necessary but I need my hair stretched for the style because the more stretched the less tangles now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't go in well no but when we get back it's like oh my as you can see guys I've got a lot of hair I was getting tired so I thought let me just fast forward through this bit have the whole hair drying done for you there you go the fullness the thickness and this is all from my hair grease and protective styling so anyway I digress let's get back to it shall we so next I'm going to take my rat tailed comb and I'm going to part from the side of my hair as you can see and the reason I'm using a rat tail comb guys is because it gives me a more precise parting and just makes the overall style look much more clean I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves and I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. No, you looking bomb the way you dress it gone. Even with the best tool for the job, guys, I still can get that part in straight. But anyways. So now I've got my braid lock and twist gel. I love this stuff, guys. It is literally the best for doing braids, cameras, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, guys, I'm just smoothing it on my parting just to make the parting look extra clean. So I want both sides of my hair, if that makes sense, of the parting. I have a side of the parting to lay down nicely. So this helps a lot. And this is just optional, guys. That braid gel just makes the parting look much more defined. So now it's time for the hair grease. Yes, hair grease makes me happy. And now I'm gonna put the braid gel on my hair, on the edges, just to make everything look neat and sleek when I plait my hair. Now the trick to making your hair look super laid is just taking your rat tail comb and combing in that braid gel just to make everything look just spectacular. So now guys, I'm just starting off my cane row and it looks tight, but it's because I've got the gel on my hair, it keeps everything looking neat and sleek. Don't do it tight guys, because I promise you, you will get a headache and you will be losing some edges. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. When it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night, we be going so hard on the flip side, so tell me we'll be on a day, babe, I could keep that same energy, when you go low, I go low too, but you'd rather stay high, I know you, can we stay high, babe, I'd rather be on that way, trying to control our emotions, if we on a rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. 
whilst I've got your attention, you might as well just go ahead and subscribe now. Just just press the button down below. Just just click. Do it. As I get to the end of my plait, what I'm going to do is seal it with the hair grease. I'm going to spritz a little bit more on there. I don't know if I showed you that, guys, but I did spritz some spray on there. I think I edited it out. Anyway, I sealed it with hair grease, as you just saw, and now I'm starting on this side. This side for me was slightly more tricky because it was a lot more hair on this side, just because this section is bigger, and also the position in where I start the plait, it was a bit awkward. So again, I'm going to take my braid lock gel and I'm just smoothing my edges and I'm going to do the same like I've done on the other side with the rat tail comb and just comb in that gel. Now here's the tricky part guys. You have to start from the middle part of your hair in that section if you can see. I've done that part in, I've just got that little bit and then I'm going to start and as I'm plaiting I'm going to pull the other hairs into the plait. Guys if I'm not making sense to you just, just watch. <laughs> my cane rope is coming along nicely but because my hair is quite thick and there was a lot in that section I'm getting a bit of bunching just behind the plait and further along in the video you'll see what I mean and I'm going to rectify it So before I make the adjustments, just to get that little puffiness down, I'm just smoothing all the strands so they go in one direction. Now to rectify that puffiness on that part guys, I'm taking my bobby pins and I'm just pulling the hair taut towards the plait and just flattening it as much as I can and keeping it in place with the bobby pin. I'm done here's some magic for you so 
So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.